BBC Radio 4 is a spoken word radio channel owned and operated by the British Broadcasting Corporation BBC. It replaced the BBC Home Service in 1967. The station controller is Gwyneth Williams, and the station is part of BBC Radio and the BBC Radio Department. The station is broadcast from the BBC's headquarters at Broadcasting House, London. Radio 4 is the principal radio channel in the UK for, news and current affairs debate and discussion comedy culture, arts and drama science and technology philosophy history religion and ethics factual programmes it is the second most popular domestic radio station, broadcast throughout the UK, the Isle of Man and the Channel Islands on FM, LW and DAB, and can be received in eastern and southeastern counties of Ireland, the north of France and northern Europe. It is also available through Freeview, Sky, Virgin Media and on the Internet. Its sister station, BBC Radio 4 Extra formerly BBC Radio 7, complements the main channel by broadcasting repeats from the Radio 4 archive, extended versions of Radio 4 programs and supplements to series such as The Archers and Desert Island Discs. It is notable for its news bulletins and programs such as Today and the World at One, heralded on air by the Greenwich Time Signal pips or the Chimes of Big Ben. Radio 4 broadcasts the shipping forecast, which reached 150 years old in August 2017. The pips are only accurate on FM, LW and MW as there is a delay on DAB and digital radio of approximately 3 to 5 seconds, even longer online up to 23 seconds. Topic outline BBC Radio 4 is the second most popular British domestic radio station by total hours, after Radio 2 and the most popular in London and the south of England. It recorded its highest audience, of 11 million listeners, in May 2011 and was UK Radio Station of the Year at the 2003, 2004 and 2008 Sony Radio Academy Awards. It also won a Peabody Award in 2002 for File on 4, Export Controls. Costing £71.4 million, 2005 sixths, it is the BBC's most expensive national radio network and is considered by many to be its flagship. There is no comparable British commercial network. Channel 4 abandoned plans to launch its own speech based digital radio station in October 2008 as part of a £100 million cost cutting review. In 2010, Gwyneth Williams replaced Mark DeMazer as Radio 4 controller. DeMazer became master of St. Peter's College, Oxford. Music and sport are the only fields that largely fall outside the station's remit. It broadcasts occasional concerts, and documentaries related to various forms of both popular and classical music, and the long running music based Desert Island Discs. Prior to the creation of BBC Radio 5 it broadcast sports-based features, notably Sport on 4, and since the creation of BBC Radio 5 Live has become the home of ball-by-ball -ball commentaries of most test cricket matches played by England, broadcast on long wave. As a result, for around 70 days a year listeners have to rely on FM broadcasts or increasingly DAB for mainstream Radio 4 broadcasts, the number relying solely on long wave is now a small minority. The cricket broadcasts take precedence over on the hour news bulletins, but not the shipping forecast, carried since its move to long wave in 1978 because that can be received clearly at sea. The station is the UK's national broadcaster in times of national emergency such as war, due to the wide coverage of the Droitwich signal, if all other radio stations were forced to close, it would carry on broadcasting. It has been claimed that the commanders of nuclear-armed submarines believing that Britain had suffered nuclear attack were required to check if they could still receive Radio 4 on 198 long wave, and if they could not they would open sealed orders that might authorise a retaliatory strike, as well as news and drama. The station has a strong reputation for comedy, including experimental and alternative comedy, many successful comedians and comedy shows first appearing on the station. Following the 6 o'clock news from Monday to Friday, the station normally broadcasts a 30-minute comedy programme. The station is available on FM in most of Great Britain, parts of Ireland and the north of France, LW throughout the UK and in parts of Northern Europe, and the Atlantic north of the Azores to about 20 degrees west, MW in some areas, DAB, digital TV including Freeview, Freesat, Sky and Virgin Media, and on the Internet. Freesat, Sky and Virgin have a separate channel which broadcasts the Radio 4 LW output in mono, in addition to the FM output. History 
The BBC Home Service was the predecessor of Radio 4 and broadcast between 1939 and 1967. It had regional variations and was broadcast on medium wave with a network of VHF FM transmitters being added from 1955. Radio 4 replaced it on 30 September 1967, when the BBC renamed many of its domestic radio stations, in response to the challenge of offshore radio. It moved to long wave in November 1978, taking over the 200 kHz frequency 1, meters previously held by Radio 2, and later moved to 198 kHz as a result of international agreements aimed at avoiding interference all UK AM per megawatt, LW frequencies are divisible by 9 and to mark the station becoming a fully national service for the first time the station officially became known as Radio 4 UK, a title that remained until mid-1984. For a time during the 1970s Radio 4 carried regional news bulletins Monday to Saturday. These were broadcast twice at breakfast, at lunchtime and an evening bulletin was aired at 5.55 p.m. There were also program variations for the parts of England not served by BBC local radio stations. These included Roundabout East Anglia, a VHF opt-out of the Today programme broadcast from BBC East Studios in Norwich each weekday from 6.45 am to 8.45 am. Roundabout East Anglia came to an end in mid-1980, when local radio services were introduced to East Anglia with the launch of BBC Radio Norfolk. All regional news bulletins broadcast from BBC regional news bases around England ended in August 1980, apart from in the South West. Until January 1983 there was no BBC local radio in the South West so these news bulletins and its weekday morning regional programme, Morning Southwest, continued to be broadcast from the BBC studios in Plymouth on VHF and on the Radio 4 medium wave Plymouth Relay until 31 December 1982. The launch of Radio 5 on 27 August 1990 saw the removal of Open University, schools programming and the study on 4, options adult education slot to the new station resulting in the full Radio 4 schedule being available on FM for the first time. Between 17 January 1991 and 2 March 1991 FM broadcasts were replaced by a continuous news service devoted to the Gulf War, Radio 4 News FM, with the main Radio 4 service being exclusively on long wave. In September 1991 it was decided that the main Radio 4 service would be on FM as FM coverage had now extended to cover almost all of the UK. Radio 4 didn't become available on FM in much of Scotland and Wales until the early 1990s. Opt-outs were transferred to long wave, currently test match special, extra shipping forecasts, the daily service and yesterday in Parliament. Long wave very occasionally opts out at other times, such as to broadcast special services, the most recent being when Pope Benedict XVI visited Britain in 2010. The long wave signal is part of the Royal Navy's system of last resort letters. In the event of a suspected catastrophic attack on Britain, submarine captains, in addition to other checks, check for a broadcast signal from Radio 4 on 198 long wave to verify the annihilation of organised society in Great Britain. Topic programs and schedules Topic Daily schedule and online schedule page lists the running order of programs. Topic production Many programs are pre-recorded. Programs transmitted live include Today, Magazine Program Woman's Hour, Consumer Affairs Program You and Yours, and often the Music, Film, Books, Arts and Culture Program Front Row. Continuity is managed from Broadcasting House with news bulletins, including the hourly summaries and longer programs such as the 6 o'clock news and midnight news, and news programs such as Today, The World at 1 and PM, which by early 2013 had returned to Broadcasting House after 15 years at BBC Television Centre in White City. The news returning to Broadcasting House has also meant that newsreaders can provide cover for continuity, which regularly occurs at 2300 each night and 1600 on a Sunday. This has reduced the total number of continuity announcers required each day down from 4 to 3. The time signal, known as the PIPs, is broadcast every hour to herald the news bulletin, except at midnight and 1800, where the chimes of Big Ben are played. There is no Greenwich time signal during the Saturday afternoon drama at 1500 on Radio 4 on Saturdays either. Only PIPs broadcast on FM, AM per megawatt, LW are accurate. On all digital platforms they are in delay by between 3 and 5 seconds and even longer online up to 23 seconds. 
Topic programs Radio 4 programs cover a wide variety of genre including news and current affairs, history, culture, science, religion, arts, drama and light entertainment. A number of the programs on Radio 4 take the form of a magazine show, featuring numerous small contributions over the course of the program, Woman's Hour, from our own correspondent, You and Yours. The rise of these magazine shows is primarily due to the work of Tony Whitby, controller of Radio 4 from 1970 to 1975. The station hosts a number of long running programs, many of which have been broadcast for over 40 years. Most programs are available for four weeks after broadcast as streaming audio from Radio Foz Listen Again page and via BBC iPlayer. A selection of programs is also available as podcasts or downloadable audio files. Many comedy and drama programs from the Radio 4 archives are rebroadcast on BBC Radio 4 Extra, formerly BBC Radio 7. Due to the capacity limitations of DAB and increasing sport broadcasts on BBC Radio 5 Live Sports Extra, BBC Radio 4 DAB has to reduce its bit rate most evenings, such that after 7 p.m. its DAB output is usually in mono, even though many of its programs are made in stereo including its flagship drama The Archers, these can be heard in stereo only on FM, digital TV on Freeview and Freesat CH, 704, Sky, Virgin and online via BBC iPlayer Radio. BBC World Service, which uses BBC Radio 4 FM and DAB frequencies between 1 a.m. and 5.20 a.m., is in stereo, but only on Radio 4 FM and DAB and not on its own dedicated DAB channel. BBC Radio 4 Extra broadcasts in mono on DAB, but has always been in stereo on digital TV Freeview, Freesat CH708, Sky, Virgin and online. Notable continuity announcers and newsreaders Announcers carry out the following duties from Broadcasting House Provide links or junctions between programs Read trails for programs Provide reassurance to listeners during a program breakdown Read the shipping forecast except the 520 broadcast, which is covered by BBC Weather Read the BBC Radio 3 news summaries at 1300, 1700 and 1800 on weekdays newsreaders read hourly summaries and longer bulletins from New Broadcasting House. In 2012 the BBC announced that it would be reducing its main presentation team from 12 to 10. Topic BBC Topic Freelance Topic. Former staff Topic. Frequencies and other means of reception Radio 4 is broadcast on 92-95 MHz FM in England, and from some transmitters in Wales 94.6-96.1 and 103.5-104.9 MHz in Scotland 93.2 to 96.0 and 103.5 to 104.6 megahertz in Northern Ireland. 103.0 to 104.5 megahertz from other transmitters in Wales. 198 kHz longwave, Droitwich, Berghead, and Westerglen. Medium wave in some areas. 603 kHz in Newcastle upon Tyne. 720 kHz in London, Derry and Belfast 756 kHz in Redruth 774 kHz in Plymouth and Enniskillen 1449 kHz in Aberdeen 1485 kHz in Carlisle DAB Standard FM content Subsidiary LW content, where applicable Freeview Channel 704 FM only. The Internet iPlayer Live Streaming Digital Satellite Radio 4 FM Freesat Channel 704 Sky Channel 0104 Radio 4 LW Freesat Channel 710 Sky Channel 0143 Virgin Media Channel 904 FM, Channel 911 LW Selected other cable television providers also on various frequencies on analog cable networks 
Virgin Media Ireland Channel 910 in Republic of Ireland Talk Talk TV Channel 604 Topic. Criticisms There have been criticisms voiced by centre-right newspapers in recent years over a perceived left political bias across a range of issues, such as the EU and the Iraq War, as well as sycophancy in interviews, particularly on the popular morning news magazine Today as part of a reported perception of a general malaise at the BBC. Conversely, the journalist Mehdi Hassan has criticized the station for an overtly socially and culturally conservative approach. There has been frequent criticism of Radio 4, and today in particular, for a lack of female broadcasters. In September 1972, Radio 4 employed the first female continuity announcers, Hilda Bamber and Barbara Edwards, an event which caused the Daily Mail to proclaim that Radio 4 had fallen to women's liberation. For quite some time, the introduction of female newsreaders led to complaints from listeners. Women discussing topics of feminist interest led to similar complaints. Radio 4 has also been frequently criticized for being too middle class and being of little interest to non white listeners. Topic see also ABC Radio National CBC Radio 1, a Canadian talk radio station from CBC List of BBC Newsreaders and Reporters National Public Radio Radio New Zealand National RTE Radio 1 An Irish talk and music radio station from RTE Variegues Radio P1 Topic References Topic Further reading Darcy, Kevin 2007. The Voice of the Brain of Britain, A Portrait of Radio 4. Raja Books. ISBN 978-0-9556706-0-2. Elms, Simon 2007. And Now on Radio 4. Random House. ISBN 978-0-09-950537-2. Hendy, David 2007. Life on Air, A History of Radio 4. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-924881-0. Mullen, L. The 29th of September 2007. 20 Things You Didn't Know About Radio 4. The Times. TV and Radio. London. Retrieved 2 October 2007. Subscription required. Topic. External links. Official website.